is a small railroad town of Pacific, and like a lot of small towns, its historical district is coming back to life. Photojournalist Randy Schwanker caught up with a local artist who has taken one building's history and turned it into a work of art. A lot of history, a lot of work went into research in this yeah. thing. Two months ago, we started making plans. Plans that had Charles Darling designing and painting two stories up. It's like icing a cake, you know, I mean, you gotta get this wheel around it and keep doing the same thing. You gotta pretend where the sun is. You ever screw up? Do you have to wipe it off? Or... Oh yeah, it happens all the time. But this project has brought extra challenges. When it comes to the detailing of the thing, and on this particular surface, it's a press tin, it's an irregular surface, it kind of represents a split face block. It's no picnic to try and draw a straight line on it. Charlie's latest creation is bringing this building's history to the outside. The McKinney Daily Mercantile behind me here uh, was built of materials that came from the World's Fair. When the World's Fair was built, a lot of it was under contract and they had to tear the buildings down and they, all the materials got scattered around and the McHugh Daily, which were brother-in-laws, they uh, bought up these materials and built this mercantile here way back in the day. It opened up 1908. Charlie knows the building in town well. He grew up here. I used to have a sign shop down here on the very bottom floor of the place that I'm working on here. He has left his mark on a lot of things over the years. But I've got murals all over all around large murals i've got another one here in town at a fireworks stand molly browns it's a huge mural it's about 60 70 feet wide 25 feet tall as this two-month masterpiece comes to an end it's been an interesting project you know i enjoyed getting off in the history of it from st louis to pacific charlie is keeping history alive one mural at a time You can check out Charlie's work at the 13th Annual Railroad Days Festival, which takes place September 19th. Now, painting isn't Charlie's only talent. He actually goes by Spitball Charlie and holds the World Championship title in Artistic Pool. You can see him in action shooting pool at the festival. A St. Louisan is embarking on...